you are enduring women through having to sit out this chick freaking betrayed me and you are trying to get her to sit 7 12 and 14 while she is with a geriatric womb at the age of 40 yet to get married and she must go and have lunch at your house and watch you well, your kids call me auntie when I don't have any of my own children. I don't have any Lantella, you took a whole decade of my life. I'm going to blow my mind. No moon, langut. Onglo ileng, mara o kono ngun gaslight. Because somewhere along the way, ufiti guilt. Aba decide always the right thing after decade if it did. You are denying the bar le baloi. Lidi bato, and so let's get let's take a force. The langutwa, la lawyer. You make people vomit. Langyonta, mara you insist. On inda beguti wena over your dead body. I'm your body. I give level level impel. Mm. You tell yourself what you over your dead body before anybody knows what you're doing. Come roll on, come load sad. I know most of the bank were not yellow. Ah, never. Because the reputation. I'm not gonna have my reputation damaged. I'm sorry. I, I, I once told one of my cousins back in the day. What I have and how about we go to Amulo EOC? Go post a lawyer. So you can't sit there and say what you mean. My reputation is not damaged. If Nginga confessed to witchcraft, because me and Funu go be busy with Amulo. I got to be busy with so it's like a thief being offended that he is called a thief we scare we panty in daughter you are just having sticky fingers velcro hands everywhere you go I lift our lift away now I lift you are magnetic or magneto that's your mutant power everything metal and definitely just sticks to your hand offended just what they are kingpin criminal that's what they are about. So Jaga Mad Bankinza, Ha Uzwa, by pizza mafia boss. Why when I'm life was I pizzi skebe and gumului? Hi ba noa utwa kabului. If at all you gonna do something, honey, when then somebody gives you a badge of honor. Can twelve, a who bitza die thing. Why am I life in ulla? If no sabat lu bamulum rolong, if how no sabat who bitwa murolong, how no sabat lu bitwa mulot san, how no sabat lu bitwa mului, how no sabat lu bitwa witch. How no sabat lu bitza devil worshipper satanist seyonsa. Sisters, why always a deed thing? Why are you doing it? It's like being offended that somebody would actually call me a black woman. Yo, that's what I am. That's what I am. Whether or not I have desires to be a Chinese man is irrelevant. Because what's true is that I'm a black woman. So me being offended by being called a black woman is frankly the stuff of insanity. On that day, it's malady, it's malarkey. Somebody bring a stop to this. Tuarangwa no muti be, muti be. Umo dinaya ling. Kimo sabo muto muto mara obata wiketa muna le China. So jaga kai kile muto muto. One more side. Oga se kono ku dinaya that fact. Le na ke le baloi. Mara le in dinaya le kanto le lingiona. Why? Hai bane kwa obata ku bitu amuloi. Osi. Oloya. Why are you getting offended? What's the deal? So do lang ring where you're sitting saying right now on so do mo or gather dust on so pinya must do long. Saying over my dead body before anyone will call me mulat amulotani. Mara o en. It's like saying me over my dead body before anyone will call me a black woman. Mara ki en. Ke ene ki onan tweu. Ke musadwa motomonso. Anar over my dead body ya ying na. Kile motomonso kili in denial haka na kibata kuba munale china. Eh? What is with the freaking denial? If at all you're gonna amass for yourself a particular status quo, honey, wear it like a badge of honor. Make like a whole bunch of witches here on YouTube, Grinch up. By the time tutorial, they've embraced the craft to a point where they've made themselves masters, to a point of teaching a class. Hey, master class of witchcraft, they might as well just do one. Move aside, step aside, Margaret Thatcher, go master class, ya hopecha. Olo bea, sister zenyana, wa pinky mona, ato hoponsa how to mix a couple of herbs, mo kitchening, holo tsaya kareya chom ya kake gaufel. Olo teach a master class when I am lawyer, girl, cause that's what you are. Over my dead body before anybody calls me um tagati. Koto um tagati.
What else must we call you at this particular junction? Make you confused. Because Omului. Cousin Yaga? Of course, I mean, you can imagine she didn't take that well. Nimjelugutti Grand Shop Girl. Why are you all offended? Do you blow us the moon? Alice photo photo out your hotter random gas out of your ears? Tiko Bizamloy, oh, eh, Namus. How's our Toko Bamloy? Stop the craft. Stop the craft. Trochel. So that next time on Tahoe accuser of Buloy, Grand Shop, you can rightly cry and flail your hands on a rooftop and say, Lomundu Yangi Sangel. Marangam Sanji. Need to deny into that you are. Mobile into that you are. Yes, Sas. Why? I mean, what, what in your bones felt like it was normal when you walked into the premises of Isangoma or your tata ikare yom ganwako? Kingi, echo en sang rufila or ntwewe ye sang okai feta and then be normal afterwards. Hello, but the consequences that your actions tell on the ramifications and so on only business and the hukela morako go drawing bottle. Lilo I am Musadi that has already endured a severity of hardship at the hands of merciless wishes. Little talk of Allah, like Kutwa, get your right now. It's like you're at a wine tasting, but instead of it being wine, it's giving soil, it's giving sand, it's giving code, it's giving autopsy. Hmm? The taste in your mouth is giving blood shed, it's giving RIP silver cord is being cut, it's giving casket, coffin, crematorium, tombstone, it's giving death. Le batalif, gangan, la le bat. It's giving putrefaction, it's giving rigor mortis, ganuga. Munka stopo. Since it's a bola, mullet sightseeing for four days. It's giving stench, it's giving somebody come and collect the body, it's giving undertakers corona, langut. It's giving hearse. You are trying to die. Mudimo is very sensitive, gana, right now, langutra. He is at the end of himself, indignation has been reached. Remote type, remote like in right now, where the domino diati, Baba to Seba Tokafala no. Kahusana, because there's no leg room for grace. It's been 10 years, Bogaisi. 10 years, a kiss, a baka kissa, rural and kutra. And I know, no, no, it's the time of judgment. So, seeing as the peasants, the lizama going back to drink potlets are rubbish. Kifilanka lo of Nabana. Kifilanka banabalo, banabalo, nabato, but you widow, a di widowa, Lankut. We are dealing with widowers and orphans in these streets because mama's is out here giving crematorium. She's out here tasting, mm, mm, it's giving gravestone. Like I said, it's giving ash in a crematorium. You are dying. You are going to die. Let's get an hour ban na baba tsirene ke bona fela dira facing le ka se ke chelo kare. Ho tlo ba le batho ba tlo falang drop dead cuz they won't stop ka bolwe ba lona. So seeing as le 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 sofa le slahlane le batla go tlhela dust to dust. Le le role. Tswelang pele. La 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 you are hugging the sand. Like it's your new lesia. Nga re ke bana ba lona ba le ba khodlang ba le ba ba le duishang ka bona. Le re mara o tshwana le nna ni kenze ma own baby look. Mm. The way you would cuddle a baby or a gugu gaga nana. That's what you're doing with death. Lalaka, lifu, ngaragilisi. Hello, little baby. Hello, little grim reaper. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. You with your shovel and your sickle and your axe. Oh, you're just so adorable with all of your mortuary vibes. You're playing with death like it's a freaking baby. Ambanke, no joina, the sand, seeing as you insist to go gasa to a point of causing this level of spiritual warfare around me link gets a very sad when i'm not about that business like khathe se kuwa ta ke khathe se kuwa forlorn di zombie to etsa basadi ha ke na taba le lona le maphelo a lona and then na ga le tlong ba mo situation ning so desperado that i will finally take in my stride ntho engwe lengwe leng of arang yona because ibito go phala bana ba tsiriane ha le batla modimo mo batleng e ya ngwe na lo mo kopa tshwarelo mara le ka se gone go lo lukisa whatever it is under heaven le batla ngwe lukisa ka di tlhare vie vie le ka se khone grand shop actually you know what yes that's one thing that i have been eluding ntse ke sa gone go not so much gone mara ntse sa buika yona because ntse ke ke le bala to mention some of y'all, not just women, Marawana le banna as well. Ba feeling guilty for rubbish ever it's a dealing. Udwang ne, God is holy. Mame lang mudimu holy. Mudimu o pure. Like hashtag crystal clear, like Stella. It's giving water with no blemish in it. The Lord is white as snow. Alright? He will never ever send anybody to go and do darkness in order to absolve not only themselves from darkness, but other people from darkness. 
When I live on the Leba Sadi that are out in these streets, but I feel like guilty outside of Impiloyam, first price good. You've arrived at some point in Yana A. Yahoo, but valuable. Hong Ozo Golden Zamaran, I just heard a broken and a contrite spirit. God will not despise it. So when you get to a point of feeling like trash, wonderful. Mara the way you tutel in the Karagatengi, the way in definitely feeling like a little bit of a thing, the way Lera Tango control a Mapilo Gatengi, the way Lesa Honing who pillar without manipulation. Lijo Zalore, Lanza Lily guilty, Loluk is a guilty, Yalon, guilty alone, Nakari gets or Tasatan. Wait, guys, it's among low, Shwam, and I cannot have a little Nakitra garden jacket on a day, Shwang is in Bato, but about Hokafa. Luna, you are walking like dogs right now, so it's among low, Shwa. Huna Leban, especially men, Leba siding and a bamba, Lomostra thing that keeps saying, Hore, I am going to go and cancel my witchcraft. I'm going to go and reverse my spell. Believe it or not, there are Christians in these streets that would say, Good, good, you are doing well. Go reverse your spell. Shut up, you are not a true believer. Or if you are, your doctrine is messed up, so you have no business teaching. You have no business standing in front of people and counseling them to do anything at all. Understand that when the Lord says, Flee from sin, walk away from darkness, do not touch anything unclean, don't let any unclean thing be named among you, don't let even the appearance of sin like encircle you even in the slightest he means it he is pure as snow he is white as snow he is clean so he will never tell an occult practitioner to return to an occult premises and do some cleanup ritual ancestral worship that's what y'all do Getting dunked in there like your donuts and some chocolate. What you call the party or whatever. That is the self-righteous solution to darkness in the kingdom of darkness. And it's written in God's word that the kingdom divided cannot stand. Alright? So Satan cannot be against himself. So you can't cleanse with Satan or Satan. You cannot remove with Satan or Satan. You cannot wash out his stain. For crying out loud. On that day, maybe you have some kind of ability to prosper. Because everything is hold down food because everything is just gross. prosperity green bar soap. Like a quicksand. It's not going to give. You need soap. So to say that you need to go and cancel your spell. I'm sorry, what is it going to take to cancel your spell? I know. You're going to burn another candle. I know. You're going to crush some more herbs. I know. You're going to do another freaking incantation. Like the reverse engineered version of it. I know you're essentially going to do more abominable acts against God to apparently set me free from the Karazalona. Guys, repentance. So like I said, you are just cuddling the Grim Reaper like it's a newborn baby. Oh, look at you look so cute with your sickle. That's you. You are cuddling the Grim Reaper like it is a an infant. Let's say. Oh, you're giving ominous. Stop with witchcraft altogether deep dumping ditch it abandon it burn it if you're feeling really super brave and got all rambo you can burn your occult paraphernalia comprehend this much ain't no saint of the living god needful at all of an occult practitioner to reverse any spell for them to be set free for them to take out any strange paraphernalia from any ground where they dug up a hole and put a doll in it we don't need you to do any of that nobody it is unbiblical anybody that has ever told you at a church telling themselves i'm a man of god and look at me listen to me speak there is some doll buried in malawi somewhere that you need to go and dig up before you can get set free to get married again they're not coming in the name of christ that is a doctrine of demon and a destructive heresy we are set free. It's written in God's word that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in Jesus Christ and God for the pulling down of strongholds. We demolish arguments and every lofty pretension that exalts itself above the knowledge of the Most High, and we hold into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. He who has been set free by the Son of Man is free indeed. Salvation is off the hashtag, say it with me now, Lord. All of our deliverance 
is from Jesus Christ. The power of occult paraphernalia is in entities. It's in demons. Do you understand? This here little box that I put stuff in is an innocuous little box. It's part of creation. But witches, what they do is they create conduits out of dinto for satanic spirits. So they go and they grab this box and they make it a witchcraft box. They put spirits on it by law, yeah? Such that Haku Fayona as a gift, a present, on some happy birthday, Karambo, happy birthday. And then Karambo puts it in her house. All of a sudden, everything light charting. There's poltergeist activity, go kitchen in the cupboard, the abuja, yakwa lecha. Honalin toy loyan kontu. Edutin kevase. In a dream and a vision, you could indeed be told that, uh, is that vase. You can go and throw it out. Ulaik niyako das bidding out kai tola. Marahamo to asset ejwano. Apatile something, mota sata piti mosa mente nkobo ko ahwa, mo life like a whole entire sectional title on top of paraphernalia I pati leng momo koti mo popo o au pati leng kama hara momo koti o sezo jano kona de complexi ya kohen e e e duting momo kudi mama popo o chanzo balo eskevita chanzo kolo but sometimes balo ba pata wish cards paraphernalia mo mama kasing adi top horeka a listo si topo sa tangi si lo aro ako muabeng ko cemetery that represents no muntu la ahamba no muntu shoni. Kwa mele tina maja siyo exuma itumb. Siyo exuma itumb. Just so, ukudu ukutato waba anti mungi mtu anashemo wa mtaga tile inja. Ye ex-girlfriend. Ye ex-boyfriend sor. Kwa mele tina siyo exuma i kasket ye cousin. Ka the late, ka the ex-boyfriend. Who ka nifula cousin ya hai. Udisaiti lo holo kinya. Efe jinya na ya tseko fa tsoko ya kho tha tso ka mo hara le kasi hore ga ntho e ya down 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 it represents bu freeze bu frozen bu buried ba ga kho tha tso o re kitseng le bitola ha tseko fa tso whatever i'm sorry ain't nobody out here going to give you permission to exhume a corpse in the spirit of conquering a witchcraft spell you are going to be called a grave robber you are going to be called a desecrator of graves and you're going to spend some time in jail for that stuff like it's a whole of a criminal uh, incriminating offense you could however azumzalwani or benta give your life to jesus christ seek the lord's face to deliver you from everything that's ever been done to you because herein lies the deal fgl no mpopi oba rekilengo game no mpopi oba rekilengo toys arasa bayo ba rekile no mpopi o loko baby city wankudwa it's just a doll it ain't jack kodwa it's made Chucky and Chucky's Bride by satanic rituals. And indeed, Egaloya, you've seen the movie Annabelle, it's based on a true story. Indeed, things can become conduits for satanic spirits and cause, therefore, poltergeist activity. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army rising up. Do you understand? All right. The Lord has come to set the captives free. He has come to set liberty to the captives. You do not have to locate every lost effigy of a satanic nature. Every lost little funny, you get my point. Whatever. Whatever. Gama. Mbo That's a tacos. Let's how not get a lock of hair? These things are all part of creation that human beings invest demonic spirits in in order that they might haunt. But you see, entities, herein lies entities in the presence of Jesus Christ. Yo, son of man, what do you want with us? What do, what, what, what do you have to do with us, son of man? They can't help but manifest in the climate of Jesus and Christ just by the breath of his mouth says, get out from this man and go into that swine. Go into those pigs over there. By the breath of Christ's command, they can just flee. And it is written in God's word that the Lord has given us as his vessels, authority under heaven, heaven, to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us. Upon this house I have built my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Demons tremble in the sight of Christ, but they tremble before us too. It is written in his word that we are seated in heavenly places with the man Christ Jesus. So, just in the same way as those entities from the, that were in the man in the cave, out here manifest and were like, Son of man, what will you have to do with us? So too, would a 
conduit for satanic spirits chilling in your bathroom in the person of a vase in the um ornament of a vase out here when you walk in when you are out here praying in tanks go by full moon as you pee they're gonna be like son of man what do you want with us as is a so your vase will end up a vase Lenja leg ngeze e vase e thakatiwe le vase yakho na izoblome jarting yakho ornamentally out of decorating bathroom yakho for 7 years as it's next to me ate ngipo zoru no mara mngani wamina ngi ningeze e vase e thakatiwe kodwa umzalo namhlala uhlala uhlala thandaza and lama entities akwakwa awakwazi ukubloma in the climate of your holy spirit especially if umuntu ya faster they can't just stay so i like to say when I did these shows on on social not social well that's you but what i wanted to say was um on tv um netflix or not even just netflix but gen tv man on dstv there was this like a uh, show that i used to watch of these ghost busters ghost hunters whatever like labad laba that go to haunted houses and they just kind of chill there all night long with funny little strange occult paraphernalia and they gauge whether or not a spirit and they claim that it's a spirit of a dead kid or whatever i used to watch these things for no other reason but to essentially investigate and peruse the sinful worthlessness of human beings out here dabbling and tapping into the cosmos messing with entities that frankly if they left them alone would leave them alone too because they have to be given permission to actually mess with the earth but when you go out of your way to chill in a haunted house and then you interact with haunting entities you are asking to be haunted you are asking for the grudge the ring you're asking for freddy kruger you're literally begging to be demon possessed when you are here messing with a haunted house coming there for no other reason but to just interrogate or investigate if at all this place is really truly haunted when you use paraphernalia and then vocalize and say is there someone here speak and you've got some fun little radio that is supposed to then catch the whiff of communication coming from a ghost you are no different from a person that's playing with uh, tarot cards a person that's actually playing with a ouija board you are summoning spirits and so therefore getting yourself nicely intoxicated with a demon possession you will leave that house with those entities lashed onto you entities prefer to be inside the bodies of living beings like human beings price one and then second price animals however because there's so many of them every so often they chill in conduits they, they chill in inanimate objects like they will chill in the these earphones so that when you wear them the person in question wearing them will then be under some kind of a curse they prefer to be however inside human beings so when you go out of your way to chill in a haunted mansion and then you are to playing with some funny little occult paraphernalia listening devices talking to entities you will leave there with one or two of those entities literally in you in you do you know what i'm saying but when i was watching when i was one sorry when i was watching those ghost hunting ghost busting shows um ghost searching whatever like these haunted little random shows when i was watching them i remember one thing i, I kept on saying to myself while watching them i wonder okay it's a halang that was a shoe back and i'm feeling i to go so bad in hell that's gonna break loose if i walked in there just by mere virtue of walking in there i remember just saying if i would say such things as those in front of these shows saying that if i walked in there all satanic activity in a tool why because entities don't want to be cast out right entities don't want to be cast out they don't want to be disturbed they don't want to be moved from pillar to post they just want to lodge where they've been lodging all this time and the presence of abazalwani is the threat is a threat to them of exiting so if a christian walks in there and they're just filled by the holy spirit these entities will hunker down they will try to hide they will sort of kind of share shelter themselves but how that they can do when the christian is an act of prayer and especially when they're fasting so if a christian merely walks into a haunted mansion chances are they're not going to experience a haunting because these things are going to back off they're going to recognize the spirit of god and say if we manifest if we show this person that we are here uzokala in tongues or uzokala nge bibili uzokala nge scriptures uzokala uzo google's cast out in the name of christ and when then she or he tells us to go in christ's name we can't say no some demons come out only with fasting and prayer so when you are fasting the stubborn ones will come out too but the lower order ones that are easily taken out of the way even without you fasting they will immediately just by mere virtue of you saying get behind me satan this is a hump they are gonna have to leave that premises and they don't get to come back they don't get especially when you seal that place with the blood of the lamp but when you're fasting more stubborn ones are then going to have to shake and wither so therefore when you walk into a haunted space 
chances are as a christian and if you're not if you're just innocuously walking in there like in and out in Jefela, like you know buying some shoes and getting out if you're just in and out they're gonna shh they're gonna shh they're gonna hunker down these are tula they're just gonna keep quiet until you're gone because if they manifest if they manifest they stand the risk of being told get the step in and they gotta go and seeing as they don't want to be moved seeing as they don't want to be taken to that place seeing as they have nowhere to go it's written in god's word in the, uh, in, the in one of the gospels that's the whole story uh the seven no it wasn't the seven sons of skiva but when the lord was explaining what happens when you cast out, cast out demons without the holy spirit coming into full room they go out and they roam around dry arid places and then they are basically kind of lonely and have nowhere to live nowhere to lodge and they remember where they come from and they're like oh where we came from was nice and cushy and then they not only go back into that place but they bring seven spirits more wicked than them into that body into so the the condition of that person is worse than it was at first so therefore a person must must just get born again get saved that you might have the holy spirit filling you so entities cannot come back in and lodge in which is why i find deliverance ministries extremely dangerous and that's what it is uh, that's why that's something that i keep on saying time and time again deliverance ministers like people go to these road shows and they stand in front of these deliverance ministers and they're like i am i think i'm demon possessed these ministers these ministers then go and say come out of cassandra in the name of jesus because they cannot stay when somebody that has is truly indwelt by the holy spirit is casting them out they cannot stay so they leave how bet there tends to be a church archer praying indeed enforcing this whole thing on some yes get out in the name of christ praying in a congregation a congregation out you're casting out demons out of a demon possessed woman but this woman is not ready to meet with jesus lamont lorna wants in jefela to gain peace from all the entities that torment her with nightmares at night but she's happy to still be cohabiting with her boyfriend she's happy to still be out you taking drugs she's happy to still be out you out she's not repenting she is not ready to actually live a life with christ and so be filled by the holy spirit and be therefore born again so uzo wiele jardin lamont and then these entities are gonna roam around roam around and say yo mean i remember cassandra and then they come back into cassandra with seven spirits more aka more wicked than they so absent of you getting born again you cannot successfully keep entities out of an ecosystem but what must be comprehended is that entities will inevitably manifest in the climate of a christian that is doing christian activity a christian archer just walking into woolies and leaving against her they can just hide but if this christian is actively praying in tongues which i do all day long top of that if they're also fasting they can't help but manifest because then that's a fire that is too onerous for them to consume they can't take it in their stride so just like christ being god himself walking in a climate where entities could see all of the fever that he was they came to him and they said son of man what will you have to do with us christ upon these things then manifesting asked them who are you they said we are legion don't take us that place then he sent them to the pigs the pigs of which then went and got drowned in the ocean that's what's good when you are a powerful christian standing in your position prayerful perpetually you can't walk into a haunted mansion and not exorcise every lost demon out of there so therefore if a person sends you a satanic conduit a jardini, through the doll that belongs to your baby girl or the little toy bicycle that belongs to your baby boy or the vase that you are putting in your kitchen to decorate telling herself which you know it's just a housewarming gift mkanwam whether or not less satani lele has bewitched that thy con that thy ornament as a conduit when uh, if your house is constantly being anointed if you are always praying and fasting you won't even know that your friend sent you a satanic conduit for a gift you won't even know because these entities are going to get much out of how and they're not going to stay they're not just by mere virtue of you praying one night in Jefela, dedicating your children to the Lord, out here standing in the gap of your daughter's engagement, standing in the gap of your daughter's uh, university application, uh, just by mere virtue of praying you general prayers, just by mere virtue of you praying general prayers, this thing in the vase, in the house, a day is too long. If it does it every day, a day is too long. When you get into a fast, two hours is too long. These are harm. And this friend of yours, wherever it is that she is, is going to be sitting there. Afra as buzuguti why anga manifest why anga anga yenzi lento mfunuguta yenzi why lento lenga yenzi lento mi why banga 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 raselani nzini why aren't they fighting why aren't they arguing the husband and the wife 
be careful of deliverance ministers and be careful with people walking up on some ooh uh, god showed me i had a, 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 a prophecy i saw in your house there's something that a friend of yours gave you if you are a true saint of the living god you can self-deliver your advocacy is in christ and there is no mediator between god and man given among people other than jesus christ so therefore when you have him you are self-delivered which is why the papacy is such a huge error and a fallacy which is why anything at all that claims to be in a position to help you along in a way that you can't help yourself along in so far as you embrace christ is a lie which is how you guys are sometimes made dependent on men and women of God. You are made dependent on little praying randos. You are made dependent on churches. You are told that in order to find deliverance, I'm making you run from pillar to post, waiting for Prophet Lovi to come to South Africa, when in and of himself he's a demon-possessed man. No. Get right with God. So that entities will, when you walk into the room, come to you and say, Karabo, what will you have to do with me? And then just tell them, get behind me, Satan. Get out. Get the step in. Who are you? Legion get out when you're fasting they can't help but get out especially when you're fasting but sometimes even when you're not fasting they just leave because they're lower order they're not as stubborn as strong men that need fasting so you therefore do not need to go to malawi and dig up some effigy in the ground for you to finally be able to get married again you do not need to locate every last occult paraphernalia that every last crazy freaky witch in these streets has cast on you or done you don't have to go to the refrigerator of your best friend who has put in an ice cube your hair follicle so that it would represent you being frozen for the rest of your days you don't have to go and melt that you don't have to go and find it you don't have to locate it all you got to do is in your own per personal capacity stand in the gap be consecrated be prayerful be righteous stop sinning whatever it is that you're doing that's compromising that causes your prayers to be hindered stop that so if you're masturbating, stop. If you are always swearing, stop. If you are, you get my point. If there is an area of compromise in your life, stop. And watch yourself get set free from spells committed in Nigeria or South Africa against you. That thing will burn in the ground mailing. Again, if at all you needed every last occult practitioner and every last little spell that was ever cast on you to be reversed, Hashem, you would never be done hunting for all of your perpetrators. Lie, South Africa. Mina, personally, Bonga Bangamban, Basis Kolen, high school, witchcraft, couple of them from university, whole bunch of my colleagues, whole chunk of my ex boyfriends, whole bunch of people from my family. Yo, guys, sadly, which is the most unfortunate thing, Archer, in these streets. On social media, on the internet, from above, so they don't know me other than Ikamalam Gara, was his ideal of and they found my content on YouTube. Angbaz, Namakam, Angbaz, what they look like, nothing. Yes, like it, but you will be searching, scourings the streets of South Africa, trying to find every last effigy of every last witch. South Africa is witchcraft central. It's like Haiti. It's a crime state. It's a witchcraft state. Never mind the ones that bewitch you from the internet. That you will meet in the clubhouse in the complex where you stay for one day. Like there was this one chick that I met in the clubhouse and I had a conversation with her for two seconds. We agreed on something, a snag in the apartments that we are staying in. And within 24 hours, that chick had already cast a spell on me. Complete strangers. Every taxi rank that will you will irritate them by doing whatever and they'll say Uban Belinga Shon. Uban Belinga Shon, they basically have said before the sun sets you must be dead. Hi guys, Shem. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Abang yang strangers, abang yang neighbors, they don't know you. They just in Jefela have they are envious over how green your grass is versus theirs that just no matter how much manure they put on there just does not pop a blade you can't find them all it is absolute folly these things are doctrines of demons and destructive heresies lamat deliverance ministers and all of these people that give you a dependency on them to get set free that out there apparently got a dream and a vision and they saw that there is something in your house i stop going to these people they're not sent by god it would be too onerous if we had to identify almost like in a lineup almost like in a lineup where now you have to go and identify who Aja robbed you when it's everybody it's everybody in that lineup like south africa like johannesburg like guys 
it's it's every good nabantu that you don't even know got my colleagues hey i had a dream of some chick that used to be is like it was my ex's friend not my friend i knew her and i cannot learn vista high school because but that's all that i knew her from she was there at a distance i keep seeing her in my dreams and i'm like oh what's a guy she was my my ex's friend but i wasn't tight with her at all at all she used to go to Vits University. She went to Vits as well. She was my age. Like, uh, like I said, Nelson Netball. And every so often went to Vista High. And so John would play Netball. This chick was there as a goal attack or whatever. Yeah. I don't even know how she found me. I don't even know how she was able to have access to me, privy. We were not friends on Facebook, friends on. No, nothing, nothing. How can I am on Twitter? Did she find my content online one day when she was perusing my aisles of YouTube and then was like, I know this chick. I'm a lawyer. That's the thing. I have so many degrees of separation from you. There are so many degrees of separation from you that you will wonder. Where did she find my content? Why does she have that kind of bone to pick with me? Guys, you will never understand. Do you understand? Legacy Kalokani. Legacy Kalokani. You you will not understand. Hore moto o i niskwele ana so nawe. And I got a stellar rupee. You were not enemies. You were just mere acquaintances. Nakona, not enough to even greet each other. Nerissa at Sibane. Leba tung that chick last time Naki Mona, frankly, was Kalifu, la my ex's brother. Because she was friends with him. She was friends with them. Naba Zeba from that side of the south of Joburg, Mara. Nanik Samzi. She was just another chick that every so often I used to see around because netball and she also was there with its. But that's literally it. Abanya bantu was oktaga gata yo was oktaga tabanja alo to you. Being that irrelevant, being that no brainer, like they are no bodies. You can't locate them all. Otherwise, you will be scanning the South Africa yonke year on year. Cause like I said, habana self control, habana myself. So even if you were to locate every last one as at right now, kau sa no ho kamuga omunyo out of the blue. Yo kamuga omunyo out of the blue. And uh, the spells that they do abange are international dog like Lomuntu Utleze all the way in Australia, Ozofiga Nimida, and dig out whatever they put in the ground in the soil of Australia in the outback near the Aborigines and some kangaroos. When are you ever gonna find that effigy? Go Australia. When you don't need to find every last witch that has ever come at you babangata they have no self-control they are full of manipulation they think they can just control the outcomes of the earth they think they are god they're megalomaniacal and so therefore to try and locate every last one of them is to walk in what we call an impossible feat it's an impossible feat it's written in god's word when the lord is rebuking the pharisees he says that woe to you pharisees you put a yoke on other people that in and of yourselves you can't carry there is a kind of christianity that puts a yoke on people that they can't carry out here telling people oh, there's this sitting on you you're under this altar you need you've got this generational curse chilling on you there is a grandmother from 1927 that bewitched you and your mother's bloodline and that's why you're struggling to get married there's this yo joe it's a freaking yoke that you can't carry because how could you ever have found that out unless you somehow happened upon this particular man or woman of God? It's written in God's word. When the Lord is calling people to repentance, he says, come, come to me. All of you who labor and are heavily laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The kind of Christianity that makes you run from pillar to post to find effigies in the ground of every witch that ever bewitched you. Because if you don't do that, you're never going to come set free. It's not an easy yoke, neither a light burden. It is the stuff of Pharisees that out here are putting a yoke on people that is too uh, burdensome for them to carry. Jesus Christ will take up your cause. The Lord does not need you or any human being. He is omnipresent. He is omnipotent. He is God. He does not need you or anyone for that matter to set yourself free. He got this. You just need to trust him. 
okay when you are weak he is strong there is oh he he when you are it's written in god's word that he remains faithful when you are faithless for he cannot deny himself he knows that we are made of dust and so he has compassion on us he forgives us precisely because he knows that we flounder our sins past present and future that it is not of anything that we have done but the free gift of god that we embrace eternal life if at all it had anything to do with our own effort i promise you, you would never come free because listen to this the human heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it there is none of us who do good no no one for all of us of us all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god even our most righteous works is written in god's word as well i like filthy rags essentially really and truly given the right set of circumstances we would all do the grandest of abominations and if at all we are awarded a veil of anonymity like that which witchcraft awards a whole bunch of people more so are we going to do shoddy dingy antics which is why occult practitioners are some of the most prolific mafia kings mafia bosses and most prolific criminals that however are unsung they commit crimes that would cause a whole bunch of people chilling in prisons in orange or stripes to be abashed they commit more heinous acts of violence against the human race than gangsters that out here have got rap sheets and police with some kind of um an edict to go looking out for them people that are being sought feverishly for by people that are being sought feverishly for by the police got better rap sheets better statistics against them than witches because the veil of anonymity that witchcraft affords them makes them commit murder without getting caught and it also makes them steal without getting caught it makes them ransack and abuse and sabotage and absolutely shatter obliterate entire souls without getting caught in a way that would cause never mind gangsters mafia kingpins to be abashed but also covetous of how they just keep getting away with murder and there isn't even an apb out for them looking for them by the police nobody is looking for them nobody's dusting for their fingerprints nobody are just spotting uh, uh, uh some funny uh, what is this nobody out you're finding a smoking gun nobody out you're finding dna at any scenes it affords them anonymity and it is that very anonymity that they are awarded that then makes it such that literally no one of us here on earth is safe other than the fact that there is a god because they can hit anything and anyone like i said guna bomb cause that will add you because you knocked over a peach go pre taxi rank as you were walking past their stand will say to you ulba milinga shon they will be with you by south zay how about the book was in lingi mewa how can man that what they need oh what's up it's a guy they know jack about you but they're prepared to put you in the ground so if every last spell worked understand we would have reached entropy nobody would live nobody would survive the level of envy that dwells in women we would all have killed each other before we get to the age of 12 is that basic so we know that god exists because there is obviously a restrainer there is somebody that ascertains that lumkaz lumkaz lo hlanya yo ebri or who's going to say ulba melinga shon is not going to get what she wants usizo is going to go home ayo lala wake up next day i figure ebri next day again ayo ayo kibela ma text i am 17 but according to them cozy usizo is supposed to die within the next couple of hours before the sun says he must be out like a light cuz lumkaz uporinda be ukuthi ukoma la woka uklamsi and now he's knocked over ama peng ama penjisi and he doesn't want to pick them up vele andlule cuz vele vele urudu sizo akhona yeah if it was up to lomkhozi usizo would be dead but according to god no no one can speak and have it happen unless the lord has first decreed it the lord is the one who is sovereign we as christians frankly have so bright we have we have a uh, set we have sanity we have we we remain sane i like that sermon that recently was done by jack hibbs the name the title of the sermon was we god's sovereignty is what keeps us sane god's sovereignty is what keeps us sane because i promise you if god was not sovereign if if he had butter fingers and was actually like oh i wish you hadn't done that if the lord keeps on looking at the wicked on some come on no please don't please don't please don't oh snap if god was like that yes like it we would go crazy as christians why We would go crazy as Christians because as believers of the Lord Jesus Christ we're entered into spiritual war the moment we give our lives to God we are made to be aware of spiritual activity that all along all throughout our lives and the run up to our redemption we were not aware of and so we have this immediate angst this um immediate you know sense of like disillusionment on some what like things are that evil like when you come to Christ you discover just how bad things really are on earth and and how bad they are is spiritual as well it's unseen it's forces that are 
not of this world, but uh, otherworldly. Not of this world, hence. When you come to learn of the existence of spiritual forces doing a thing, especially if you come to Christ before being a witch, it becomes very overwhelming to realize just what we all along have been under this entire time. What we've all been essentially at the mercy of this entire time. It's daunting to learn that. But you gain sobriety, you sober, you calm down, you chill, you relax. Why? Because whew, he is sovereign. Thank God. He is the one that says to the devil, you will go this far and no further. He is the one that does not allow, that, that ascertains that every, not every last spell that people can cast works. He's the one that makes sure that every last jealous colleague in the office does not prosper to kill you or steal your colleague career, pull the rug from underneath your feet. But he's also the one that can create such a strong delusion, such a strong delusion in the climate of a plethora of crazy witches to imagine their witchcraft is succeeding until a person's life looks like Garabos. Where people think Gutiminam under spells. They think Gutiminam at the mercy of every last new concoction they cut but they come up with. They think Guti they can mix up some, you know, food coloring in the kitchen and mix it together with some Feni Greek and then mix it together with some beetroot, then say an incantation on it. Besemina Nyoralendo Dengaifun. Or Besemina Yobafon Langiti Gel ni kumbulil. Unzo le Satanist. Yeah. They thoroughly think that they can do anything and everything but God is the one that makes sure every last one of their wish fulfillment, their wildest dreams, their self-fulfilling prophecies does not come to pass. Witches would be lying if they said that every last spell that they did worked. They know that they don't have a perfect traceability matrix. They don't have a perfect track record. They don't have a one-to-one -one ratio of success in terms of what they achieve in sorcery because God very simply says, oh, no. Every so often with spells they cast, he's just like, ew, no. But when it looks as if though you have prospered, it means you've been handed over to a debased mind for you have not loved the truth but have taken pleasure in your unrighteousness. So God sends you a strong delusion. The Lord lets you believe that you are succeeding as a witch. If at all witchcraft prospered to do what it wanted to do 100% of the time, the world would no longer be a going concern. Y'all would have reached us to entropy by now. The world would be over by now. By now. Witches bewitch presidents of countries, bewitches, there was a whole seance done, multiple of them, against Donald Trump. He still won the election. I'm trying to help you understand that Uptaga Tibenu is fool's gold. It's vapid, it's air, and it's giving coddling a grim reaper because really it's bringing your own death on board more than it is rather humiliating anybody's life on these streets. Hai sebeze boloi, unless mudimu, habu sebeze, unless mudimu allows it for his own purposes. The Lord has set apart everything for his purposes, including the wicked for the day of trouble. It is an abomination in the Old Testament. God says, do not suffer the witch to live. That's how much God hates uptagati. So Usomanta would never ever send anyone, so any man or woman claiming that you have to go and remove an effigy and reverse a spell as a means to appease the wrath of God is lying he is not coming in the name of jesus christ because the lord cannot deny himself he cannot go against his own word he cannot go against his own precepts and decrees he will not make concession against his own word for the sake of a reprieving somebody from your sorcery god tells you ditch that stuff burn it in the new testament of the act of the apostles all the sorcerers and magicians went and grabbed all of the very expensive witchcraft book spells and they burned them even though they cost a fortune do you understand what i'm saying the Lord will always tell you, burn your witchcraft paraphernalia, throw it away like rubbish, like an, op like an apple core in the dustbin. He will never ever tell you to do a reverse spell or another incantation to reverse the incantation you did. He will never send you to go to a cemetery and dig up the thing that you buried in the ground and then reverse an incantation in order to set Garabo free. He will never ask you to do witchcraft to set a saint free from witchcraft. So no, I do not need you to reverse your spells. God wants you to repent. He wants you to walk away. He wants you to throw away your occult paraphernalia in a dustbin or burn it, do whatever you want to do. But he will not expect you to do more than that. He doesn't expect you to do a reverse a spell. He doesn't expect you to pour bleach on your witchcraft so that it can be cleaned. He, he does not want you doing any strange extra rituals. You've done enough. You've done enough. You have been doing this rubbish long enough. Now just stop. God got this 
for everyone that was at the mercy of all of those effigies, all of those paraphernalia, all of that funny little stuff, all of the spit that you put and all of the semen that you used in order to go and anoint what you call to be your property, like an animal urinating on a spot in order to mark its territory. Yeah, God will take care of everyone that has been subjected to the tyranny of that crap. He does not need you to do anything extra. Nothing. So no, I don't need you to reverse your stupid spells. Because there are 20 million of you that have been all up in my grill. You, re you reverse one spell, whatever. There's another one that's going to do the exact same spell tomorrow. Plus, your little reversal is not going to achieve anything in my life. Not in mine. Because I'm a child of God. You are deceived. Like, as I mean, South Africa is just rubbish. I was listening to the other day something on TikTok. This one girl giving a story time about another person that wrote into her channel. Her, her account speaking about how it is that she slept with who she imagines to be an occult practitioner and ever since then she's not pregnant and she's got a funny odor down below and no matter how many gynies she goes to no matter how many doctors she goes to this thing is not being eradicated so she finally went and saw a sangoma the sangoma of which went and told her look honey bee i can't reverse the spell unless upud madlisa wako organs of this thing comes forward and agrees that the spell must be reversed imagine that mm. Imagine that being what you're subjugated to the tyranny of. Like I said, the human heart is to see fill up all things and desperately wicked who can know it. No one does good, no, not one for all of sin and fallen short of the glory of God. People are just evil. And people largely don't want to also admit Uti they did witchcraft because like I said earlier, Um Tagati Ajia being hated, be hating in Dawuti Gamalake Lo Lelo Mloi. But she doesn't like the name. So they don't like being called out and they also are vehement in the rejection of the accusation of witchcraft on their persons so all the best in trying to get somebody to first and foremost admit that they did it and then accompany you to another sangoma so that they can reverse the spell that was done on them all the best i mean goodness gracious people hate god and people love ill-gotten gain so this little witch did what they did because they wanted that to be done to you because the human heart is dece deceitful above all things and desperately wicked so first and foremost in order to get this person to reverse the spell you they gotta change in character and stop and stop being slaves to sin deceitful with hearts that are deceitful above all things and desperately wicked that's the first thing the character has to change they have to actually change their minds about them being content with the witchcraft they've done on you once they've changed their minds they also have to know first they have to admit that they did it and most witches are on that shaggy tip it wasn't me then they have to develop character all of a sudden and desire that you should be okay when their hearts are deceitful up all things and desperately wicked and then they have to basically get out of their way and then accompany you to yet another sangoma to reverse a spell on you all the best in achieving all those three things in listen to this 20 wishes in the community that are all up in your grill Le sangoma went and gave this woman such horrible advice and uh, I low-key was like sort of kind of emotional when I was listening to this little story time because I was like yes like it man God has come to give life and life abundantly he has come to set the captives free and yet these captives don't know how they can come free people have no idea how to get out of this people have no idea how to be set free from crazy people people have no idea how to find solutions because you can tell before the spell will be lifted as if the Olo Pinky Wakona is going to be willing to admit to Tagatile in the first place Slaluguti Bazo Salabati Ah it wasn't me it wasn't Nyangi and Zanga Lentolen La Masango Ma Wena Ma Solution Aba Ma Wena Ma Solution do you understand Bazo Bato Nina Banza Bangkadi Chaita Zalona Di Handa Gatidi Dao Zalona Linda Leba Tadi Solution Imu going from pillar to post to when God says come to me all of you who labor and are heavily laden and I will give you rest i have come to set the captives free and he who has been set free by the son of man is free indeed oh god will deliver you same time same right now same today do you understand today is the day of the lord the acceptable day of the lord the day of salvation when you hear the gospel on this day do not harden your heart oh god is like saying today set her free i will remove the fetters and the chains fetters on my feet so i can dance and I'm going to praise him, making like Mary Mary. The Lord be out here, making like Mary Mary. I remove the fetters of chains and chains on you. Gulula, it's easy. And all it takes is if anybody cries out to me, I will likewise not turn away. Have You don't have to do an incantation. If you don't know a sinner's prayer off by heart that some church has concocted, you, you don't got to know it. Because to call on the name of Jesus is easy in your language, whatever it may be. 
with as few words as possible. Mina, I got born again. I was set free from fetters and chains of Igorobel and bring back lost love and beg Mina Pella and my ex-boyfriend. When I said, I didn't even use the name of Jesus. I was crying on the shower. The algae getting frizzy because I was crying because e boyfriend was acting some strange, funny, alcoholic way. Acting like a baba last in income poop all up in these streets. I'm treated like a way that I had never been treated before. And I was mournful. Because I on top of that, I'm like rubbish. I'm shapaka. Good riddance. Eh, batong. Motugio. Unkosti le ho reke be fra. Because no na len twening twere gaika yen. I was tethered to him by something. And that's why I was that bereft. And on the shower floor that morning before Kiam Sebetzi. But thank God I had been interrogating the things of Christ, of God, in the run up to curiosity. And I just said, Go shower and kiss at the listless. I said, God help me. God help me. As Anka Jesu Christe, as Anka is some elaborate sinners, prayer, go rima, nothing. I just said, God helped me. And same time, Ngati, I'm a guru spant in a corset in a bright tight. Wow, 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 wow. That's the day I got born again. Same time. Ngare anything in Khamile so mganga le banda le dileng. Anything in ke ya pere tight is you know body suit to costume. Mi le dileng. E ba tsatang go eloga maobane. Ke some stylist or sinang tech. Everything I feel like crack that same day. That very morning on the floor go showing where I felt like I couldn't deal. Nike tsoro ke something I was being tethered my ex and that's why I was so bereft it's like ming shone with the way man tita nga kon nga vela nga ti god help me god help me those were the, th the only three words I used god help me that's why kere lao sa tsebo ko ore nge vocabulary ya kha khu hae khu bale kha has kha se khu wa se khu trapa kozo khate tike khu twenga has se twana se khu iluda kozo we dibe zoro mang all you gotta say is whatever words you can say but make sure that in there okupa mudimu wabadimu tus God help me. I did not use the name of Jesus. I did not use it. I just said, God help me. And immediately I was like, Pah. of course, I came to learn that it was in the name of Christ that I was set free because I was genuinely seeking the God of the universe, coupled with the fact that the God that I was interrogating was indeed the God of Christianity. And he set me free right there on the spot. Years of Korobela, years of Pegamina Pella, years of Bring Back Lost Lava, years of Auzoba no Mungu Mundu Laim Kakweni, years of No Munga Hambu Zobuya. Hey, gone just from one cry on the shower floor Nitty god help me and i was loosed so i mean really my boyfriend so girlfriend my ex-boyfriend girlfriend said on that morning mara utu kile enye hap di cheri nga nata kuta wa bansi wa bizi ba bloka mne nyalo di cheri nga bloka di kariye di bo me ba ko sarate ba anadi anything that anyone could have ever cast on me i was loosed from that day but the particular petition i had was for that and i was loosed guys so loosed was i that morning that i mean got you guys i was walking on sunshine oh in car and get light i wasn't walking like, i was not walking i was gliding like that whole day i was so happy i was light on my feet in gati never took it a burden or have you do you know what it feels have you ever experienced how good you feel after you know that feeling in got to like gym 10 laps around the athletics patch the way you feel so good that's how i felt after being bilious and sick for three hours it was like instant relief that made me so light-hearted light on my feet the whole day i was happy i was bouncy fine because you get my point but i didn't care because something was free from the